India Mundo, the church bells are ringing, telling us that it's nine o'clock in the morning, nine bells, and the magic flowers are out. These are the ones that I was talking about last night, that completely transform in the morning. Today we're heading off to an attraction nearby. I'll show you what it looks like. This SatNav app is actually really good. It has a section on here for TripAdvisor and you can just go to things to do. It searches the area that you're in and tells you the things nearby. So we're going to go to this one, Mata Nashial de Busaka, which if you remember about a month ago when we were still in Thailand, I saw this and I was like, wow, look at this amazing looking rustic staircase inside a forest. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to explore. It turns out it's very close to where we're going to be living. So we're going to check it out today. What have you made? Breakfast. What kind of breakfast? Continental. <laughs> these are the oats that were soaking from last night. Yeah. I quite like these brown oats. They're very different. Yes, are those plums. And is that the manga? Mango. Brazilian manga. Yeah. Nice. It seems criminal to not have the doors open when this is just outside. heading to a national park. It's only 10 miles from our house and we've seen some nice images. Looks like a good place to walk. So we're gonna go and have a look and see what it's all about. It's been a nice drive here so far through the forest. Very green and lots of trees. And we're going up into the mountains a little bit. I feel like we're going up quite steep hills. Very pretty. I hope we can find somewhere good to walk. We have arrived. Eden's allowed. There's no sign saying no dogs. <laughs> so far it is very peaceful. All you can hear are our footsteps and birds. I've only seen a few pictures of this place so I'm not quite sure what to expect but it's a good start natural noises lovely forest nice places to walk and we believe dogs are allowed so Eden will definitely be coming back here I'm not sure what these old abandoned buildings are but they're fascinating when we were younger and we drove through France, we used to go into abandoned buildings and take pictures. So this is a bit of a moment. A reflection of our past. And as we get further and further into this national park, came across this wonderful gem. Had no idea this was gonna be in here. Beautiful. We were not expecting this. This is absolutely stunning. Incredible. We knew there was a building in here. Yeah. <laughs> Did not expect this though. Wow. Beautiful. How's that for a bit of architecture? And this garden is amazing. Some intricate hedge work going on here. <laughs> not quite a maze because they're not high enough no. to get lost in. But if they were, it would be a maze, wouldn't it? Yeah. This would make an excellent wedding location. Yeah. And we still think like that. 
<laughs> having been wedding photographers in the past, I think you can never really forget it. Mm. There's a nice balcony up there where you can yeah, take some pictures of the bride. Some lovely photos in here. That archway up there with the trees hanging yeah. down, that'd be perfect. Even around the abandoned buildings. Yeah, I, I, would, I would definitely take the bride and groom down there, <laughs> if they were willing. Somebody's thought about their flower placement here. Lots of nice little colours dotted around the garden. Cute little flowers as well, yeah. not huge overpowering ones. It's very pretty. Yeah. I like the little fountain at the bottom of the steps. Yeah, it's like a little English garden, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like a little secret garden. Portuguese garden. <laughs> We're not sure what the history of this place is because a lot of the information was in Portuguese. Yeah, we'll and we... try and find out. Mm. But I presume, I would think, it was perhaps some kind of stately home. Yeah, we'll definitely be coming back here. Mm. It's only 10 miles away from our house. Yeah, cool. and completely free to get in. Yeah. Unless, unless you drive a car in. Here. Yeah. But yeah, the walk wasn't far. No. And you get to see this. I've just found this amazing tree. I have to come and have a look at. <laughs> look how nice this tree is. <laughs> It was nice. Wow, I love it. There's so many cool trees in here. <laughs> wow. Some stone arches over there. Stone arches. Oh yeah. There's a cute little seat in here. Very nice. Just found a couple of ducks on the pond. Oh, they're geese. They might be geese. Turns out this is this duck is actually asleep. He's got his eyes sleepy. shut, but he's he's like moving and nodding. It's like he's going to fall over. There you go. Oh, he's opened his eye. <laughs> I had no idea ducks slept standing up like that. <laughs> It's so pretty here though, I feel like I'm on the set of Cinderella or something. Yeah, <laughs> I could use it for a film, definitely. Yeah, I? it's lovely. It's like a Portuguese fairy tale. It is very fairy tale-like, like a little story. I think uh, this is one of those places that you could keep coming back to and discover loads of little bits and pieces that you missed out on the first times you came. I've just found this really interesting looking staircase. I'm not sure if we're going to do it today because it's quite steep. Check that out. What lies at the top, Sash? Want to go and see? Uh, maybe we'll save it for another day. I want to see what the restaurant looks like. I found a restaurant as well inside the <laughs> castle. Let's go and see. Here's the restaurant bit Jay was talking about. You can see some glasses set out on the tables. It's actually a hotel. The Palace Hotel. It is very nice. We didn't go in. <laughs> there was no one dining or anything, we couldn't see. And you might have to be staying at the hotel and I don't know, felt a little bit intimidated to walk in. <laughs> a bit posh. <laughs> what have you found? I found the Cafe for Commoners. This is where we're allowed. <laughs> Right, we decided to come and sit in the commoners cafe. <laughs> Jay's gone in to order a drink. Alright, what did you get? Um, cafe com later, para dois. <laughs> Which is a coffee with milk. For two. For two. They don't do cappuccinos or anything here. No, they've got a machine for it though. Oh. Hello. Coffee by the palace. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Good? Good, yeah. It looks good and smells good. We are leaving the cafe. Got a bit busy in there. How much for the coffees, Jay? Came to two euros thirty cents oh. for the two. Reasonable. Very reasonable. <laughs> we are heading back to the car now and back home for lunch. Sit on our balcony and enjoy the garden. We have to eat that wheel of cheese. Yeah, we've got a wheel, <laughs> half a wheel of cheese. <laughs> it's 
to get through and a jar of gherkins. <laughs> Lunchtime in the shade. Sasha has made brown seeded rolls with the wheel of cheese <laughs> and some goat's cheese and some gherkins. Just delicious snacky stuff. Yeah. This will be our last lunch on this balcony until we <laughs> yeah until we move out of here. It's very relaxing <laughs> sitting here. A little bit sad to be going actually. Yeah, I feel like we've moved in already. Hmm. It's just Eden missing. Just missing those four paws <laughs> clicking away on the wood. We've noticed that after seven days, we start to get Eden withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> yeah. So I started dreaming about Eden <laughs> on day seven, and Sasha started thinking about her, like daydreaming about her at the same time. So seven days is our Eden limit. <laughs> and we can't wait to get her back no. here. Yeah. After this, we are driving all the way back to Porto. Yeah, in the middle of the night, yeah, tonight, so we're not going to get any sleep. It's going to be quite exhausting. So tomorrow's vlog will be starting from when we arrive. In London. That's in London, yeah, back in London. But we've still got some things that we'd like to do in London, so I'm not too sad about that. I'm really glad we came to Portugal, though, and done this trip. And it put a lot of our queries and thoughts and tasks to bed, and we've managed to do a lot ticked off some boxes from our to-do list and coming and test driving the house was one of the main things we wanted to do Yeah, as it's... well as meet the midwife so we've done both of those things it's brought the move closer yeah and it's made everything feel like a reality now very real yeah <laughs> we've been formulating a list of all the things that need doing before we come back here some things that we want to buy the bed is a bit too soft, we want to try and see if we can make it a bit sturdier. Yeah. We need a good coffee maker, or we just want our own one. A blender. Blender for juices and... Some pots and pans. Yeah. Because the ones here are ancient. Yeah, they're, they're like more for holiday use and not for living. Yeah. So we want to bring some of our own stuff with us. So a list has been made. And I cannot wait for September now. <laughs> mm. Me neither. So for now it's goodbye views. Goodbye, local village. Goodbye, local people. Goodbye, church bells. Until next time. <laughs> so, I think this is a good place to end the vlog. We said before we're not going to do a full house tour. It's still the case. We are going to wait until we've got our dolly rail and our bigger mm -hmm. camera and we can show the house properly when and we return. Officially moved in as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because nothing's still been signed yet, so that'll have to be sorted out yeah. later. So we hope you've enjoyed our journey through Portugal. Yes. We are slowly falling in love with the place. <laughs> Things are looking up, yeah, they're looking definitely. good. So we hope you've been enjoying that journey with us. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we will see you in London. Yes, in the morning. Bye. Bye.